Um, hello everyone and welcome to my channel uh, if this is your first time coming here you can do it to subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications on when new videos are posted so here i'm just going to be telling you all you need to know about um, applying for um, admission in canada and how to go about the process you're thinking about doing it but you don't even have an idea of how to get started so that's i'm here to guide you and to help you the first thing you want to do is to make up your mind exactly what course you want to do and then once you've made up your mind on the course that you want to do the next thing is you want to start searching for schools to know uh, what schools offer the course that you actually want to do and there are a couple of websites you can try to kind of give you um overview of the different schools and then the tuition as well one of my favorite websites I like using is uh, Master Sporter. So when you click on Master Sporter, and then you can click on, unless you've decided you want to do biochemistry for your master's or your PhD or your undergrad, then you want to type in uh, biochemistry, and then you want to type in the country, Canada then it's going to tell it's going to bring out the list of schools so you can um, check by tuition so that you know which schools have very low tuition and those that are high so the amount you're seeing here is representative but it's not really the actual amount but it's really very close so you can see mark master university western um, university you can see university of saskatchewan you can see University of Ottawa, if, and if you go next, you'll see uh, University of Lethbridge, University of Alberta, Concordia University in, in Montreal. And then if you go down, you can see University of Windsor, you'll see McGill University, Brooke University. So you can see the different tuition. You can see Rice University, Dalhousie University as well. So what you want to do now is you need to start to search one after the other. So you have to go to each of the website one after the other, one school after the other to get details of all the search that you want to do or the information that you need. Let's say we are using University of Windsor, uh, Windsor, um, Windsor yeah, doing using that as an uh, as an example. So you. You want to go to Google and type University of Windsor and then you see the website. So what you want to do is you want to browse as just go through all the website as as much as you can to just get a feel of the school, the university of how it looks. Then you can go to future student. This is not how every website looks like, but this is just like a demo to show you how to go about your search. And then you can see if you go to programs, uh, if you go to programs, um, you want to see um, the different programs that are available. Then if you do it, if you're doing for grad program, you want to search by grad program. And then if you're doing, um, if you're undergrad, you want to search, if you're doing, you want to do BS bachelor's program, you can search as an undergraduate. And for master's and PhD, you can search by graduate. And then um, if you want to search by masters, let's say we want to search by masters, then we see chemistry and biochemistry, then there's masters that we click on it. And then the next thing you want to do, you just want to read through every information you can find on the website. Then you see like the um, everything about the department, what and what they require. If you want to do a PhD to tell you um, this and what you require for PhD and then so these are like the research um, the research areas that they have then you want to look at the um, program and admission requirement for example fall is September so the deadline is J January July 1st for winter which is for January admission the deadline is November 1st then minimal TOEFL but if you're from Nigeria you don't really um, for most English speaking countries particularly like Nigeria you don't really need to bother yourself about this English test 
and all that then you want to see um general admission requirement for graduate program so you want to check what's the admission average so master's program require a minimum of 70 percent you know so what you want to do convert your uh, cgpa to percentage and see uh, what percentage is going to give then you check what's the application fee um one hundred twenty five dollars um do they require references then additional document that they will need so you just kind of going through all the process then if you want to check what is the tuition like then you can search by program and see graduate um they want to go to um, masters of science and then the course is full time of course fee category you want to go to international um, if you're coming from outside of Canada then you you want to search so when you search it's going to tell you the tuition is actually nine thousand dollar um, per year this is like the base tuition and then all other fees that are associated so this kind of help you to decide if you if it's something you feel you'll be able to um, afford and then you just try to go around as as much as possible just gathering information then you can visit the website this the departmental website to really give you the accurate information then you want to see uh, what research areas they have in biochemistry for example um, this man works on biochemistry computational biomembranes you know so if you want to do environmental biotechnology for example then you want to contact this man and cell signaling and protein depends on the specification you want to do then if you're into chemistry, you want to do materials chemistry or uh, all other courses. So you just kind of have a feel of the of the different um, research areas. And then you just want to go to scholarships and see what they have. So you can see um, graduate entrance scholarship. You can see masters and then doctorate. So which means for a thesis based program you can get like seven thousand five hundred dollars for uh, for one year then for none that's for cost based you might get like three thousand seven hundred per year then for doctoral you can get seven thousand five hundred for per year for four years then you want to see okay what other scholarships they have so you have to check these are NSEC, CHR, all different scholarships then you see um, the eligibility and all that then uh, departmental scholarships but uh, you can just begin to search and then you see what and what are in each of the uh, different website and then you want to see okay they have a um, uh, graduate assistant position you just read through and see um, the requirement for you to become a graduate assistant then you see the application process and, and all that then you see you know the different research facilities you are just scanning through right so you can see oh they have nmro they have a um, powder x-ray diffraction and all the different things that they that they have and then so you can go back and really see the uh admissions process and then okay, i've already showed you i've already showed you this this admission process so you just want to make sure you meet the admission guideline that's really the minimum requirement that's really really very important and then if you want to go get more details on admission so you can see admission for uh phd then you can read through all this information and then you can also check for uh, masters as well all this information you just have to read through so one so you see faculty regulation for masters program 
so you can see here you need at least 70 percent uh, in the last two years of your study which means basically your third and your fourth year you need to check uh, you need to calculate your convert your cgpa to a percentage for example if you have your cgp of 4.5 out of 5.0 just convert it to percentage and see um what and what they 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 give so you just read through all of this process to see um what and what um, they require then you see duration of program is for two years um you see committee uh thesis um you see what and what they require for all the thesis program so this kind of give you an idea of what and what you if it's something you feel you meet all the requirement now once you've done with that then you can begin to think of okay let me get to apply so you can also there's another website you can also use to search let me see i put masters in biochemistry in canada then you can see all the university university of toronto ottawa university of guelph and all those if you click to canadauniversities.net so this is very practical it can actually tell you by province if you go to alberta for example it will tell you okay university of alberta university of calgary uh, they offer biochemistry and then if you go to british columbia to tell you okay simon fraser university university of british columbia university of victoria they offer biochemistry then you go to manitoba um you see okay university of manitoba offer uh, biochemistry plant physiology and biochemistry you just kind of go around then if you go to uh newfoundland you will see of course memorial university of newfoundland and then you go to saskatchewan uh you see university of saskatchewan university of regina so you see you have a wide range of options to pick from and then if you're looking for phd you can search for um, canada here and see um, schools that offer a phd in biochemistry you can see here uh, University of Windsor, um, University of Western Ontario, University of Victoria, Toronto, Saskatchewan, University of Manitoba, University of Calgary, University of British Columbia, Simon Fraser, Memorial University, McGill, McMaster, the Housing, University of Saskatchewan, University of Ottawa. So this gives you a very practical step as to which and which school you let's say you want to go to you want to check with let's say memory university you go to their website and then it's still basically the same thing right you go to graduate program by chemistry you see everything that is required if you go to our people here you see the different um I'm going to in my next I'm going to do another video to talk about how to search for um, supervisors and then that's just basically how you how you search and then if you go back and then you go to you want to check with uh, let's see the has university for example and then you click here then you see okay biochemistry is under the faculty of medicine you check just reach through why i'm saying this is no one is going to do the this kind of research for you you have to really get to do the research for you by yourself that's the one you go for masters you check with masters you check all the graduate programs that are available um then you see how to apply academic funding opportunities um, if you want to do postdoc or everything that is basically required right then I'm going to do a separate video on how to choose um, supervisors so very easy so in like 20 minutes you can actually search for more than you know five or ten different schools as, as much as you can and then 
let's say you want to check with um, University of Saskatchewan and then you click on it here then it refers you to uh, okay biochemistry pathology and lab medicine then you can check on programs graduate programs you see funding current opportunities sometimes some schools even write if they are looking for maybe a master's or, or phd you can see like these professors for example they are looking for students for masters they're looking for students for phd like this is anatomy physiology this looking for supervisor uh, student and this professor is looking for student how to find a supervisor i'm going to be looking that in, in in a separate video so this is just the way of getting started just kind of going through all the different universities and then to kind of give you an idea of what and what um, schools you want to apply for so thank you everyone for joining um for watching and if you've not subscribed make sure you hit on the subscribe button and then share the video with your friends thank you and um, have a blessed day